Hey, Jason C. Brown here with kettlebellathletics.com. One of the most received questions, or one of the questions I get asked most is, what's the difference between a kettlebell and a dumbbell, and uh, how would a kettlebell transfer over into an ADL, or an activity of daily living? So I'd like to just show you some real, real life examples that you could get in here close if you want, Morris. When you pick up a dumbbell, the center of the gravity is here within your palm, always. It doesn't matter if I'm pressing, doesn't matter if I'm snatching, if I'm deadlifting, boom, boom. The center of gravity is always right here, okay? Depending on the size of the kettlebell you're using, the center of gravity is extended. So this is a competitive kettlebell that's about six to eight, uh, six to eight inches away from my palm, all right? That creates something known as a longer moment arm of resistance or a longer lever arm of resistance, or you could just say a resistance arm, depending on which biomechanics school you're from. Sometimes the center of gravity on a kettlebell will actually be below your palm, all right? So this creates a shorter moment arm of resistance. And oftentimes, right, during some movements, it fluctuates. That's called a variable moment arm of resistance. That is not present in a dumbbell. The dumbbell is always fixed right here. So a kettlebell has a longer moment arm of resistance and a variable moment arm of resistance. So they have done studies where a kettlebell does require better or more synchronized inter and intramuscular coordination than a dumbbell. One study even demonstrates that the quads fire differently using a kettlebell. I'm not sure how that one worked out, but I don't understand it. So, carry over to activities of daily living. Here's my backpack. Look, here's my grip. Center of gravity, somewhere extended away from my palm. This is an extended moment arm of resistance. So, real quick biomechanics lesson. If you have a longer moment arm of resistance, it requires more effort or force on your part to move a 35 pound kettlebell the same distance as it does a 35 pound dumbbell. So longer lever uh, or resistance arm, more effort or force on your behalf to move the same weight the same distance. So real easy, real quick. Baseball bat. Using a dumbbell would be choking up on the bat. Right? Kettlebell would actually be moving down further towards the handle and creating a longer lever. Hope that makes sense. So there is a distinct and unique advantage to using a kettlebell. There's a distinct and different mechanical uh, application for the kettlebell. It's up to you to apply that well and get the results for your clients and your athletes. Thanks again, Jason C. Brown, kettlebellathletics.com.